So you nailed the interview and you know that this company is a perfect fit for you. So now is just time to sit back, relax and wait for the offer, right? Aren't you forgetting something? What? In this video, we're going to go over a critical last step that follows the interview. One that will help you stand out because very few people actually do it. We're talking about thank you messages. Watch until the end and I'll tell you where you can sign up for and download my free guide on writing thank you messages after your interview, complete with templates. I'm Kamara Toflo, resume writer, LinkedIn consultant, job search strategist, and LinkedIn top voice who helps established professionals dare to do work differently and land great fitting gigs. I post new videos every Tuesday and go live every Thursday. My videos will equip you with some of the most valuable information that will make your job search easier because job searching shouldn't be this hard. So why do we want to send thank you notes following our interviews? Aside from showing that we are polite people, the thank you note really reaffirms for the people who are hiring that we really want the job. And people who do hiring love to hire people that actually want the job. Plus, it can be a great way for you to stay top of mind with the interviewer. After tons of interviews in one day, people and details start to blur together. Remind the interviewer why you are qualified and a good fit for the role. Now, one thing I want to make clear is that the thank you note can make the biggest difference when you are one of two or more candidates who are equally as qualified for the role. If you aren't as qualified as the other people who are interviewing for the role, then a thank you note won't make much of a difference. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't send a thank you note. You never know if someone more qualified than you might pull themselves out of the running for the job, or maybe their background check comes back with a few red flags, or perhaps even a similar opportunity opens up at the company that you can apply for. Sending a thank you note at a minimum is insurance, and it's just good manners. So is there a right way or wrong way to send or write a thank you message following an interview? I think there is. First, there's how you send it and who you send it to. If you watched my video on how to ask clever questions at the end of an interview, you'd recall that one of the final questions I recommend asking is if it's okay to follow up with the interviewer, at which point you'd hopefully be handed a business card. This is your green light to follow up with the interviewer or the hiring manager. But we don't always get this green light. If you watch that video, then you'll also recall that I referred to a hiring ecosystem. In many cases, a recruiter or talent acquisition professional will be coordinating the hiring process. When that's the case, and you also didn't get the green light to follow up with your hiring manager or interviewer, you should be sending all messages and communications through the recruiter or the talent acquisition professional that you're in touch with. They are your champion and advocate, and they are the liaison between you and the hiring manager. So what that means is you can write a thank you note to the hiring manager, but submit it through the recruiter and ask them to pass it along. But while you're thanking the hiring manager, do not forget to thank your recruiter as well. Next, we wanna make sure that when we're writing our thank you messages, that we're not using them as an opportunity to ask for feedback from our interview or to ask where the hiring manager is at in the hiring process. Asking this type of information can come across as very self-serving, which is the opposite of the impression that you want to convey with a thank you message. It also creates more work for the recruiter or the interviewer. We never want to create more work for them. We always wanna make it seamless and easy to hire us. So let's talk about the method of sending a thank you message. Email is more than sufficient. You can write a handwritten thank you note, but you really don't have to. Are you really going to apply for work at Scranton Bread Works? Bread is the paper of the food industry. You write your sandwich on it. And definitely do not send a box of donuts or a sandwich. Hello, what if they're on keto? Now let's talk about the actual writing part. I like to recommend a formula called thanks to follow when you are writing your thank you message. So let's take a look at what thanks stands for. T is for timely. You want to make sure that you're sending your thank you message within 24 hours of your interview. H is for highlights strengths. We want to remind the interviewer of the strengths that we will bring to the rule. A is for affirms fit. We want to let the interviewer know how we can really see ourselves stepping into this role and that we're really excited to do it as well. 
N is for nudging with gratitude. This is particularly important in follow-up messages to your first thank you message. Just the very act of sending a polite and professional thank you message or follow-up message is a nudge with gratitude. K is for keeps it brief. A thank you message is not a time to regurgitate your resume. They are for quickly touching base. And finally, S is for signs off with an offer for more information. You always want to keep the door for communication open. And the easiest way to do that is to offer any more information that the interviewer or recruiter might need in order to support your candidacy. So how does this sound in action? First, we want to open with an expression of gratitude with something like, thank you for your time yesterday. I appreciate having the opportunity to connect with you and learn more about the position name role at company name. Next, we wanna re-highlight our strengths. And this might sound something like, it was great to hear about all the exciting initiatives that company name has on the horizon. Particularly when you mentioned a really cool thing they're doing that the interviewer told you, with my strengths in Core Skill 1, Core Skill 2, and Core Skill 3, I can contribute considerable value and make a difference with this project or initiative. Next, we want to affirm fit and express excitement for the role with something that sounds like, our conversation yesterday reaffirmed that the position title role at company name is the right fit and next step for me in my career. And finally, we want to sign off with keeping the door open for future connection and communication with something like, please let me know if there's any further information I can provide you to support my application. Thanks again for your time. Now, what if you don't hear back? Is it okay to follow up? Absolutely. I would at least give it another week or two following your first thank you message. To get an idea of what to include in the follow-up message, make sure that you sign up for my thank you message guide and templates. The sign up link is included in the description below. Wanna know how to really blow an interviewer's socks off and do something that nobody else does? If you are passed over for a job and you get a thanks but no thanks rejection email, make sure you reply with a thank you. You're probably thinking, Kamara, what? How could I possibly do that? Thank someone for rejecting me? Yes, that's what I'm saying. And hear me out. A lot could happen between the hiring decision being made and the hired candidate showing up on day one or even being there past their probationary period. They could get another offer. They could realize that the job really wasn't a fit for them and look for other opportunities themselves. There are a whole host of possibilities. So why not be that one candidate who kept the door wide open for the possibility of working with your target employer at some point in the future? My free thank you message guide and templates includes a template for this thank you message as well. Thank you notes that you send after an interview likely won't change a hiring decision, but they will make you stand out as a potentially great future coworker and they will help you stay top of mind with your interviewers. Being in their face, so to speak, makes you unforgettable. And here's my cue for you. Do you write thank you messages after your interviews? Do you think that a thank you message has helped you land a job? Tell me anything and everything in the comments below. As you know, I make a lot of videos, but I also make free guides to help you in your job search. As mentioned, this video pairs really well with my post-interview thank you guide and templates, which you can download by signing up for them. The link is in the description below. And if you found this video helpful, give it a like, share it with a friend, and click on my face over there and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.